Welcome to my dumbbell throne. I always think of Game of Thrones when I do this exercise because I feel like I'm on a throne surrounded by dumbbells. And it's a little bit messy because it's probably what your gym looks like. And I have my drop sets prepared with each weight on either side, okay? So the first thing that I want you to think about is that when you do any exercise, it's your whole body, unless noted, doing the whole exercise. So while you're here on your bench with your back completely vertical, I want you to feel that you kind of like wedge yourself into this. And I want you to think about bone structures. So your pelvis, the back of the pelvis, is pressed against the, 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 the back of the bench. <laughs> and then your shoulders, if you can think of your shoulders as shoulder blades and a little bit of a round surface from your rib cage, that is pressing into the bench. And I'm pushing with my feet a little bit not too much to where I move, but definitely to where I'm actively on this bench. Now, some benches are going to go higher than your head. That's great because what you're gonna do is try to keep your face vertical, meaning don't let your head tilt up or don't chuck your chin. Just press your head backward so that the bony structure of your skull has pressure also. Because then, if our feet have pressure, our pelvis has pressure, our shoulders have pressure, our head has pressure, then all of a sudden the exercise is like kind of easy-ish to do because you have all of this support. Now if you see this one, my head is, be, is not supported, um, but what I can feel here, well I'll try that out. So I'm kind of hooking my occiput, the part where your skull starts to go out, kind of around that. We'll see how it feels. So the safe way to get into this, especially if this is a heavy strength exercise on your program, meaning it's one of your main lifts for that exercise session, when you use a heavy weight, there's a safe way and an unsafe way to move it. So first of all, I got my 25 pounder, so I'm just lifting them up one at a time. And now these are vertical on my knees. So what I'm gonna do is kick it up, <laughs> kick it up, to get into the starting position. Now here I'm just gonna rearrange everything, feel that I'm, that I'm pressed against it. Now with the weight, your natural curves of your spine are mostly, are probably gonna show up. So right now my lumbar spine is no longer pressed against it because my spine just adjusted to hold on to these weights. So here I'm gonna press that pelvis against it, I'm gonna press my, my shoulders against it, I'm pushing my head backward. Now from here, I'm gonna press up just one time to get started. Now hopefully you can see me shaking. This is a very challenging weight for me to demo this with you and I chose it on purpose. So from here, once those weights are overhead, this is where the real work is going to begin. We're gonna spiral those dumbbells in front of our eyes, spiral them right back up. So ideally what's happening is the forearms are vertical in front of our face and then they come back up. And ideally those elbows are hitting shoulder level at the bottom, they're straight up at the top. Now if I'm done, right, and I'm doing a drop set, bring the weights down, pop your butt up and put the weights down. Try not to rest, don't even get a sip of water, okay? Keep your muscles nice and hot. These are 10 pounders. I don't need to do this for 10 pounders, right? I can even start here, right? Press up and return. This is the Arnold press. Oh my God. When the weight's lighter, it feels so good to feel those muscles spread that attach on your shoulder blades and on your spine. This is one of my absolute favorites. So you'll do those. And if your program says drop three times, you know what to do. <laughs> you, you've got to go with three different weights so that you completely exhaust those muscles. Even if it's just two or three on your lightest weight, that's still fucking amazing.